Welcome online guys, Tomagotchi here, and in the previous episode, I did say that I was going to make a lot of changes. So the footage you're seeing right now is of the previous episode, but here we go. This is what I've been working on. Three, two, one. Welcome to... I've forgotten what the city was called. I think I just called it Very Great City. I don't remember, it's been a while. Cause a lot has happened in between episodes and not even just the building. But after I built it, I recorded this episode and I got it as far as Mewtwo. And the game crashed, which means that footage is now lost. Which is a shame. Uh, which wouldn't be, oh, by the way, I got manure. Uh, which I wouldn't have a problem with, I just re-record, except here's the thing. I would have liked to have shown Brachio. I think definitely Riptide evolved. Because, yeah, I changed my team up a little bit. Just a little bit. But no. So I lost all that footage. Uh, but never mind. Never mind. I didn't actually fight Mewtwo, which is a relief. So. Yeah. Uh, this here is my gym. Kind of. Uh, basically, these buildings are very close to non-existent. Well, non-existent is not the word, is it? Uh, here's my breeding ground for Cutie Fly and Combi. I've got other pens. And up here, because I learned how to make different houses using different types of terrain. But... Ah, uh, well, I do need... I do need things from you guys anyway, so that's fine. But I made this little desert house over here. And there's a bunch of Pokemon walking around. And if Rhydon would just kindly get out of the way for a second. Thank you. I wanted to make this like a fossil base. So, as weird as it is, this is where the fossils go. Uh, but Anarif is out here just because I wanted materials from and a riff as well. But I do think we're going to fight Mewtwo today. Uh, but before I do that, I want to know if I've got enough Pokeball. I've got plenty of Ultra Balls, which is great. But I want to make sure Okay, fine, one Pokeball then. Uh, yeah, I definitely need a lot of Pokeballs for what I want to do right now, which is basically just catch Mewtwo. But yeah, I've got a little pond here. I've got a grassy area for my bugs. And I've extended the road, so I can go north to the savannah. In order to use, it is weird how I have to use this brick area, like, because I've always associated that with being the walls, but apparently the way you build this bricky area is on the water, so it's technically dockland, but it's also how I was able to build this building, just build on top of it. So every time I have to build a new road, I essentially have to extend the river and then build on top of that. So technically there's water over where I'm standing right now. But it's still fun. Nice. I do need that. And this is where me ghost Pokemon are. So I'm just picking up stuff right now. But yes. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, it'll be really funny, but yeah, I am 
technically shiny hunting and all I have to do is get Sableye out and attack the egg itself. Speaking of shiny hunting, I want to talk a little bit about that. Right, so this isn't a shiny, so I can just basically attack it. In between episodes, I've been getting into Pokemon Scarlet because the DLC dropped. Uh, you may have seen my favorite picker video prior to this video. They have done so much to make improvements to that particular DLC. And I think my favorite feature out of everything else is that there's an item creator. You put Pokemon materials that you get from battle into the item maker and it'll make a bunch of items. S specifically like items that can help you. Evolution items sometimes drop. But every now and then the machine turns a rainbow colored and it will be purely Pokeballs. And I am so happy that it, it is done like this. There is a chance that you can get special Pokeballs. You can get the Apricorn Pokeballs. You can get the Dream Balls. You can even get the Safari Ball and Sport Balls, which were a real problem back in Sword and Shield because it was really convoluted and I hated it. By the way, that's how I get up to this mountain here. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's ride Giraffe Rig. Come on then, let's go. Oh wow, there's a lot. There's a lot of eggs here. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disturb. Not gonna disturb you. Uh, you can even get Master Balls off the system, which I thought was kind of nice. But the reason why I love that so much is because I am so happy that I can now obtain my favorite Pokeballs in such a plentiful manner. It's not like they outright give them to you, by the way, as usual. It's going to take me a long time. Oh yeah, I think I caught a bunch of Pokemon too. And I just didn't collect them. But yeah, we're in the mansion now, and this is where Mewtwo is. <sighs> oh yeah, I've figured a few things out with this game as well. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But the reason why that's important is because back when I was playing Sword and Shield, which I actually didn't mind that game, I... I Okay, like, a lot of people have complained about it already, and I'm not going to get into that. But, the main thing I hated in Sword and Shield is how you got Pokeballs in that game. The special ones. And that is with the Cramorant system. By the way, where am I going? I'm, I'm not infinitely blocked out. I remember that much. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, I do remember now. This is probably what crashed my computer just doing this for some lot for so long. Oh yeah. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, oh yeah, I need to unlock that. Oh, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Go to the ride on statue. So anyway, what you would have to do, you'd have to get apricorns from trees, but you would need a massive supply. Like, and I'm talking a big, big supply of apricorns because, and I don't know why they did this. Every time you use four apricorns, it would save your game, which is a problem in and of itself. And it would give you a, 
a percentage of a chance to get a special Pokeball. I forget what the odds are, but I think it was like 1%. It could be either a Safari Ball or a Sport Ball. I didn't even know you could get Sport Ball. Oh, okay. Have I blocked myself in? I hope the whole episode isn't just this, but we'll see. Right, so I figured that part out. Okay. Oh yeah, um, it was like a chance. But there was also a massive chance that you'd just get a regular Pokeball. And it was so annoying because you'd have to put in four each time for a chance of one of the special Pokeballs. And the fact that it would save your progress automatically after each use meant that you were doing this for so long and then not even get what you wanted. Of course, it's like this. You know what? Fine. You've pushed my hand and I realize that I don't have any good moves. <sighs> oh well, at least I get to show off Riptide, who is now for Alligator. I'm actually at odds and ends as to who my favourite starter is. I want to say for Alligator, but I do like Meganium as well. Ah. <sighs> Oh no, come on. I'm only doing this because you won't leave me alone. Well, thanks, Magmar. This is going to make the Mewtwo fight even harder. Uh, just get rid of him. I do need to level up anyway. Man, come on. At least you grew a level. Oh, two levels. That's good. Seriously, I'm cutting so much footage from this episode where it's just me going through a few tiles and then going. It's like, leave me alone! I don't even know. See what I mean? See what I mean? It's this. Over and over. I know this is supposed to be a hard dungeon, but it's really annoying because I have to traverse the whole area. You know what? I'm not even going to pick those up. Let's just move on. Um, I don't remember where... Oh. And it's even worse because you have to flip switches every now and then. And it's not the switch I need to open, which means I've got to go all the way back and flick a switch on the second floor. Ah. It's all coming back to me now. This is why I don't like this dungeon. Because it's nothing but this the whole journey. And I can't even run away from a Vulpix! Right, I see a door there. That's where it is, isn't it? Oh, come on! Every step, just leave me alone! Right, I clicked the switch, and now I have to go all the way down. So I'm gonna play a little game with myself. How many times do I get in, into an encounter before I reach the next flight of stairs. One. Only three? I was expecting it to be a lot higher, but never mind. Oh! Thank Arceus! 
Oh, thank Arceus. I am saving. And you know what? To avoid the same accident as last time, I'm going to stop the footage here just in case. All right, so I'm not going to have that same mistake as last time. And once this is done, I never have to do it again. Hopefully. Ooh, this music. Humans. They cared nothing for me. From the moment I first opened my eyes, they have sought to control me. But no more. Why are you here? You seek to control me just like the others. I will admit, this game really hyped up the bosses. An oppressive force surrounds you. Mewtwo unleashes its full power. Cause look at that. I don't know if it's shiny locked, but let's face it. It's gonna be a while. Long. This is also why I brought Sableye with me because it's got psychic moves. Right, I actually don't know if that's gonna. I'm not gonna do that. See? Doesn't affect Sableye. Right, I'm gonna try and get. Oh, okay. Fine, fine, fine. What's happening? Because the footage cut off before I could get this far. Yeah, well, that's nice, but, uh. Oh, it's recovering. Okay, so now I can use Shadow Ball after all. Right, let's see if this does anything. You're disabled, fail. And it's no longer disabled anyway. Right. Um, cautious about. It. Okay, great. That's great. And let's just use this. Uh, we don't have Master Ball. I don't think Master Balls are even in this game. Not even a wiggle, huh? Okay. Sableye can't be hit by anything. This is exactly why Sableye is perfect for the job. I just don't know what this unleashing means. Come on. Nope. Can I even catch it? Is it one of those things where I have to... Wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so it's possible. That's fine, I don't mind that. Come on, you two, come on, you two. No, no, no. Honestly, I wish they would do something like this in the main games, because this, this feels even more epic. Because I must admit, even in Scarlet and Violet, I, I caught Blood Moon Ursaluna. It was not hard to take down, and the fact that it guarantees the capture afterwards, I didn't feel as accomplished. It's like, okay, I did this. And now I can focus on... Oh, I forgot what they're called. No, Gouging Fire and Raging Bolt. 
the Entei and Raikou. I just called them Entei and Raikou. Because that's basically what they are. Or Raikou, rather. Because I like the Johto Pokemon. It's also the reason why I had to change from, from Violet to Scarlet. Because they're just so cool. I don't have the two iron Pokemon yet because I don't have Violet anymore. Alright, alright. Right, use Power Gem. This is intense, I'll give it that. <laughs> like, it is a reward for going after for going through that entire dungeon. Right, power gem again. Hey, right, I'll use Zen Headbutt, but nothing else. Come on. Okay, that's great. Doesn't matter. I could put it under a status condition, but I don't want to risk killing it. Because I don't know. Mm, do I use Shadow Ball? You know what? Use it. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. He's using Recover anyway. Fair enough. Alright. I don't know if I'll be fighting the Reggies or not. I might do. But this is one of my main goals. Just get this. Get the other boss Pokemon in the desert. Oh, okay. Um, power gem then. Oh, he's using Recover again. Still use this, no problem. And good thing too. Sableye is just not getting touched. Oh, what will happen if he runs out of moves? Will that be? Ooh, that's so close. Surely this can do something. Barely a wiggle. Come on, I could do this. Also, no, they won't use Struggle ever because there's no PP in this game. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. I walked into that one. I get it. Oh, and his special defense went down again, which means I need to wait for him to recover full HP before I use Shadow Ball again. Not a single wiggle that time. I'm using all of my Ultra Balls. These Ultra Balls, by the way, I did get the first time I went through the mansion. So, the fact that I'm wasting them all here... Well, I'm not wasting them all, it's just... Oh yeah, I was saying before about how, how the Apricorn Pokeballs you could only get one of in a Blue Moon in Sword and Shield. That was annoying because that essentially means I have to soft reset every time that they break. So I can't be that conservative about my Pokeball throwing if they're going to break out soon. And that got annoying real fast. So e even if I had a bunch, essentially I'm like, okay, I'm going to try using one for each Pokemon that I get, right? Uh, Carablast was a big one because I got my first Sport Ball like in December last year, actually. When, when I was just like, oh, maybe I'll get it. And then I did get it. So I used it on Carablast. And unfortunately, he's a low encounter rate because I think it's down to version... I mean, he's not a version exclusive, but he is 
but there's more Shelmets than Carablast, essentially. So, if the Sport Ball broke, I'd essentially have to just soft reset and try again. Which I would have to do even if I got a bunch of them. But I did it for Carablast because he's a bug type. And because of how Scarlet and Violet is done, I can be like, okay, what Pokemon are in Sword and Shield that aren't in Scarlet and Violet? Or for that matter, in any other game. I could just be like, okay, if I can get Carablast, even though he's not in Scarlet and Violet, it's still valuable to use it on him as opposed to anything else. But the fact that this new system, this new system on Scarlet and Violet to get Pokeballs, I've gotten so many Sport Balls that even if one breaks, I can be like, okay, not a big deal. And they're plentiful enough that I don't necessarily have to- wait, wait, wait! Ooh, that one was so close! Last Ultra Ball. Not even a wiggle. The fact that I can just use the item system in Scarlet and Violet, I've gotten a whole bunch of special Pokeballs as a result. And because of the Terror Raid battles, I don't even have to worry about the Pokeballs breaking half the time. Even Beast Balls, I can just go to a, go to a Terror Raid and just throw it at him. Oh, are you serious? I was gonna sit okay for a second there. I thought the Pokeball was gonna be the one that gets him, and I would have been so so mad. Um, well, I guess he is heavy. You know what? I don't even care. It's just a Pokeball at this point. And at least in this game, I can make him. So Scarlet and Violet system of getting new special Pokeballs. Way better than the Cramorant system. I think, I don't, I don't hate Cramorant as a Pokemon, but that's the stigma that I have with Cramorant specifically. Because it's that stupid system that, and I did it daily. And I'll tell you what, I don't hate Cramorant as much as I hate Squovet because he would steal the Apricorns. But no, I've been playing Pokemon Scarlet Indigo Disc non-stop. I don't even have Terrapagos yet. It's just that I've, I've gone into it. I've started breeding. I've been shiny hunting. I've gotten a, quite a few shinies, actually. I've gotten the most shinies in this game. Oh, then again, that's not that's not true. Because I played, played a lot of Pokemon... X and Pokemon Omega Ruby. I've gotten plenty of Pokemon from there. Because they had the Friend Safari. But still! I filled an entire box of Shinies. So that's something. Uh, no, I'm not going to use... Oh, I should have used... Okay, fine. Fine! Okay, that's a considerable amount of damage. So I'll just use this then. <sighs> Can you imagine how hard this battle would be if I didn't have Sableye? Blocking both of his attacks. No Psychic. No Swift. Just... In retrospect, I probably should have used Spirit Tomb, but never mind. No. Right. Do you want to be my friend? At this point, I'm just throwing Pokeballs at it, hoping that it sticks. I don't want to knock it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. With the power of love, 
I know you're a genderless Pokemon, but... Okay. Right, okay. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. See what happens. Come on then, Shadow Ball. Oh! Uh, okay. Oh, but look at all the XP I got. Right, that sucks. It may return when it's had time to recover. Right, I wonder if that means now? No? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, after all that. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go home recuperate and uh, thank Arceus I have teleport so I can just go here right but yeah that is a hard one I do want to catch Mewtwo but it is not easy it'll probably be easier for me to actually shiny hunt but no At least I'm back in my abode. Uh, what do I do? Oh yeah, you know what? Let's see if these eggs are shiny. So that'd be pretty funny if they are. But yeah, I was given a little tip as to how to shiny hunt for the eggs and just build this like octagonal area because that's where the breeding happens within that space so it's okay and to be honest there's plenty of areas where Pokemon have just bred otherwise so it, it doesn't even matter that much okay so none of them are shiny but that's okay I think that's a good way to end the episode I think I'll start the episode at Mewtwo because at least I've shown you the tediousness that is that dungeon. So I don't need to show it off again. Then again, I just realized. Oh yeah, that's right. I saved beforehand. Okay, you know what? I've done a lot today. So, hey, uh, by the way, I also need to see my house again. Because I just also remembered, didn't I catch a few Pokemon? Yeah, I caught Ditto, Weezing, and Mock, who is now in my way. Mock, can you please get out of the way? Mock, I want to go to bed. Mock, I want to go to bed. Thank you. And there's a coughing here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to bed. So until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Whew, that was quite the battle. If nothing else, it was an epic battle. I just got a little bit careless, that's all. But until next time, this is Tomagotchi signing off. Click, click. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and hit the bell.